it's me teacher Jane and welcome to my channel Stay put lang kayo dyan mga kids. Uh, watch my videos to help you answer your modules. So, kung meron kayong mga request or mayroon pang mga gustong malaman, just comment down below. Pwede po kayong mag-request, pwede kayong magtanong, pwede kayong mag-suggest ng topic na pwede kong i-discuss para matulungan ko kayo sa mathematics. Pero syempre, bago ang lahat, dapat mag-subscribe ka sa aking channel. Click mo na yung subscribe and then click that notification bell para updated ka lagi sa mga post ko. For today's topic, we are going to discuss Introduction to Statistics. Math 7, 4th quarter, week 1. When you hear the word statistics, what idea comes first into your mind? Ano-ano ba ang mga ahensya ng gobyerno ang meron tayong tinatawag na statistics? Correct! Ang, ang, ang pinaka-familiar sa atin ay ang tinatawag natin NSO, National Statistics Office, o kilala ngayon bilang PSA, Philippines Statistics Authority. So, what is statistics? Statistics is a branch of mathematics that deals with the collection, organization, presentation, analysis, and interpretation of data. Statistics is derived from the word status, which means state. So, kanina nga nabanggit natin na ang familiar na ahensya ng gobyerno na meron tayong word na statistics ay ang PSA o ang Philippine Statistics Authority. Ito ay kung nasaan natin makukuha ang ating tinatawag na birth certificate. It's very important that all of us or we Filipinos have our birth certificate. Otherwise, ano, alien ka. <laughs> Importance of statistics. In economics, it helps us understand and analyze economic theories, the relationship between supply and demand, imports and exports, inflation rates, and per capita income. In business, it helps managers to analyze past performance, predict future business practices, and lead organization effectively, like set prices and respond changes in consumer demands. In government, it helps in decision making. They must serve the need of government for efficient administration and management as well as for longer term policy making. In medicine, it helps to determine results from experiments clinical trials of medicine, and symptoms of diseases. Evaluate the effectiveness of newly developed medicines. Very timely yung ating lesson today. So, sticks. Ang mga pagpuhan ng mga number, kung ilan ang nagkakaroon ng sakit 
per barangay, per city, or buong Pilipinas, or even, even pang buong mundo, statistics ang tawag natin dyan. So, yung ginagawa natin na yan ay statistics. So, there are two types of statistics. Meron tayong tinatawag na descriptive statistics and inferential statistics. Descriptive statistics is a branch of statistics that utilizes numerical and graphical methods that is used to summarize the information participated in a data set. Inferential statistics is a branch of statistics that uses methods generalizing results from sample to a population and measuring their reliability. Example, a large sample of men at age 48 was studied for 18 years. Results revealed that 60% of 60% uh, to 70% of unmarried men were alive at age of 65, while 90% of married men were alive at the age of 65. Example of inferential statistics. 110 people are going to vote Edwin Olivares as a city mayor of Paranaque, while 80 are going to vote Benjo Bernabe, then will neither vote the two politicians. Now let's discuss the different terms in statistics. So, isa na dyan ay ang tinatawag natin population. It is the total collection of all the elements one wishes to investigate. Sample, subgroup obtained from a population. So, let's say from Manila, uh, the number of people in Manila, the number of people in Bulacan, the number of people in Paranaque City only. So, those are example of sample. Okay. Now, another term, another term that is important in statistics is the what we so called data. So, what is data? Data are facts or informations about ideas, objects, or events. Data are units of information, usually numerical, that are collected through observation. In Tagalog, or sa mga medical, sa medical term, or sa, sa government terms, ito yung tinatawag nilang datos. Datos. So, data. There are two types of data. So, kanina, meron tayong types of statistics, which is descriptive and inferential. Two types of data naman, meron tayong tinatawag na quantitative and qualitative. By the word itself, ang root word ng quantitative is quantity. You are talking about the number. When we say qualitative, you are, uh, the root word of qualitative is quality. So, you are talking about the quality itself. For example, examples of quantitative data are weight of an apple, number of books in a library, speed of a car, While qualitative data, taste of an apple, gender, religion. So those are examples of qualitative data. Classify the following as qualitative or quantitative.
religion or affiliation. Qualitative, very good. Next, grams of fat in a cheeseburger. Quantitative, correct. Age. Quantitative, correct. How about lot area? Quantitative, correct. And the last one we have, radio programs. Qualitative, correct. Very good. Questions? So, naaalala nyo ba nung kayo ay mga elementary pa o kayo ay mga estudyante pa? Batang 90s ka ba? Alam mo to. Naranasan mo na bang magpirma o magfill up sa tinatawag natin Islam Notebook? Natry mo na ba na papirmahan o ipa-autograph yung Islam Notebook mo sa iyong crush? <coughs> So, yun ay isa sa uh, paraan or isang method na ginagamit sa paggather ng data. So, marami pa. What are the methods of gathering data? Number one, we have interview. We have the direct or the interview method. Questionnaire. Through questionnaire. Ito yung magsasagot ka sa mga papel or survey. Yung pagsasagot natin sa mga survey, sumasagot tayo sa questionnaire, sa mga tanong. Ayan. Third one is observation. In this method, the researcher uh, obs observes the behavior of the participants. Nag-o-observe, tinitingnan mo. Nagkakaroon ka ng comparison. It makes use of human senses. Number four, we have experiment method. It is used to determine the cause and effect. So, ito ay usually ay ginagamit ng ating mga uh, scientists or medical ano, researchers. Then, the last one is registration. Information can be gathered through documents or reports. So, that would end our topic for today. Hope you understand our lesson. Goodbye!